to your dish and then uh, stir it in. That's great. So you can add some black sesame seeds if you want. Um, you can add something green to it if you want as well. But you leave this and you let it marinate for a few minutes and you have a wonderful curry dish that you did not cook. Okay. And this is your uh, original recipe? No, this yeah. particular recipe I actually got from my teacher, Iris Latam. Okay. Um, Beijing Jamaican guy who taught me about uh, 15, 16 years ago. And this is one of the one of the things that stuck in my head after I did his course, for sure. Um, I do this dish every week. We have uh, <laughs> a coconut wild rice with curry plantain and salad. It's our Wednesday lunch and it has been for the last 10 years. Wow, that is yeah. awesome. That is awesome. I love this dish. You said you either can use coconut oil or just olive oil? Yeah. Well, what's the difference in flavoring then? Um, it's not actually a matter of difference in flavor. I mean, those people that just are into the coconut oils might want to do the coconut oil. But if the 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 plantains or stuff are in the fridge or they're cold, it hardens the coconut oil, so it's it's not easy to uh, move the yeah the whole thing around. But um, it's just preference. Some people are really into the olive oil. Some people are into the coconut oil. But right now, coconut oil is a big deal with um, bulletproof coffee. You put in a little bit of coconut oil in your coffee to give you a buzz. Really? Yeah, because it, it, uh, coconut oil gives you a boost in energy. Mm -hmm. So they mix the two together. So when you blend it in the coffee, it actually looks like it has a milk. Mm -hmm. It's very cool, actually. What? See, I would never think to put the orange peel and then put that on top of it. It's just um, to emphasize that I use orange in the... Yeah. But it looks really nice. It's all about presentation too. All right. So your turn. Y'all have any questions? Questions. Questions. Yes. I'm coming over to you. I'm gonna sit right here. Thank you. Yes. I just wanted to ask about the wild rice. Is it easily available in Barbados? No. So it's no. quite a difficult and expensive dish to prepare. Nasi. Okay. It's not that difficult to, to, to do it, yeah. but uh, it's gandy wild rice. Nasi sells it in these small little boxes that are like $10 for the box. And usually people that are into the rice will come and take up all, so then you won't get any. <laughs> but other than that, you are here now, so take some back home with you. All right? So then you'll definitely have some for the future. So that's the challenge of Barbados is, the, is just not having this readily available. Right? Yeah. So yeah. How, yeah. how do you maintain a healthy lifestyle if you have Well, this, this particular dish is just um, the fact that I like it so much that I try my best to do it weekly. Um, um, but I would say if you want to do a simple rice, you can do a cauliflower rice. And you can do that on a regular basis. So, okay, get cauliflower. It's easy. You put them in the food processor and you just do it down till it comes looking just like rice. And then all the other things that you saw me do, you can do with that and make it look nice. Okay? Yeah. Any other questions? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, oh, oh she has a question. No, you have a statement. I learned something new recently and maybe for the benefit of all I'd like to share. So somebody did a study on chimpanzees because human beings and chimpanzees, our bodies are just about the same. And their diet, the chimpanzee diet, is like 80% green. Whereas human beings, we're 20% green maybe. So what Chantel is doing there is, I think, very important because not cooked, chimpanzees don't cook. <laughs> and they are extremely healthy because their diet is mostly vegetation, some fruits, and a little bit of meat, I think. Okay? So what do you think about that, Chef? 
Yes, that is true. I think that uh, people always ask me if we can eat this way all the time, and I think it's possible. I think part of it is psychological for us because you're growing up eating the food, and then the other part of it is adapting back. So, but I see people that are sick do it real quick. So I know it's possible real quick. They want, they want to change. This is why I do this in a clinical setting because I find that people come in and they have a specific problem. They want to fix that problem. Then they're very eager to learn and to do. So I really like to see the transformation that people go through when they're really motivated to do it. Um, there are a few other things that um, I can tell you about that I have for you all to taste, and that is that I did um, some pepper sauce for you, but it's a special pepper sauce, a digestive pepper sauce. Because I think that culturally, that's one of the things. Lots of different cultures have cultured foods, um, fermented foods that they use, and I always wondered what would the Bajan cultured food be. I think sorrel is one, and I think pepper sauce is the other one. So pepper sauce traditionally is done with um, green papaw. So we add green papaw, we add the seeds, which are very good for cleaning out any worms or anything out of your system. We use coconut vinegar in ours. But one of the things that I started to use was the baobab. Y'all know the baobab tree? It's one of the largest trees coming out of Africa, and it has a pod that it carries. Um, the pod inside is kind of flowery, but it has the, um, it helps your gut bacteria, okay? And it's very high in vitamin C. So I um, added that into the pepper sauce along with mustard greens, horseradish, some of the traditional things. But I find the combination very good for digestion and most they just put it on all their food. So it helps clear things out and improve the digestive system. So you're gonna get some of that today. I also did um, a green drink um, with sour salt, mango, coconut water, and dandelion greens. A little bit of cilantro. So you're going to get a taste of that. And um, I did something else. Oh, I did a mango pudding with a little cream on it. Just so you all can see, I like people to taste the variety because we do all these things in the shop and people don't realize that the raw food, even vegan food, it's not rabbit food, it can taste really good. And um, I want people, this is the whole point of it, you want people to really get into the food, yeah? yeah. So, so do you have a recipe book or something? It's coming, the card to my sister yes. will be here tomorrow. Yeah, we know, I, mean, I know I, I needed to do a transformation, right? My mother was borderline diabetic and then she stopped what she was doing with all the creams and sauces, the milks, the sugar and the salt. She started walking and she lost all that weight and you know and she's doing very well now. But it's so hard for her to maintain that kind of healthy eating. Right. So and we, we try to um, we do it in different ways. We have boxes of foods. We have lunches every um, daily lunches. So there are different ways you can get it. Um, once you come, you gotta be more better still to get it. But um, so we just recipes. Yeah, some of these recipes will be on the, the website, so you can try these ones for now, and we'll get some more to you as time goes on. Yeah? Okay, sounds good. The BTMI. But you have to create your own website. So I think you have followers here. That Actually, um, we do have um, things going on, so there is some cards that we'll give out. I'm not sure the volunteers might have them to give out later, but you can check us out on Instagram. So we do take pictures of everything that we're doing so that people can see. Because we do kale chips, we do our own cereals, we have our own line of um, cassava shakes and stuff. Cassava and, shakes? Yeah, so they're gluten free. But I, I really like to promote our local stuff. So I really try hard to, to um, make things with the things we sell. Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing next? Just um, on this yeah, up. I just want to add some more to the, the sauce before we start doing the sampling. Yes, because we want to get to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so nobody else has any questions? Sampling. What do I do at the clinic? So I do iridology where I take a photograph of the iris of your eye so I can see what's going on in your body system, whether the organs are overactive or underactive. So I can see if you have cholesterol, <laughs> Poor circulation, <laughs> short term memory loss. All by looking in your eyes? Yes. You know, so. I have that talent too when I look at my husband's eyes. I <laughs> so, um, actually, at home, that is what most people know I'm known for. Okay, because I've been doing.
in that number. And I think this is for males too. The number of each of them were giving out calls for the males is a good indication about yeah, where you are in health. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they didn't open their eyes. Yeah. That's good to know. Did you know about that? You know, no. you know everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once once people have the iridology reading, this is what I would I kind of skip forward when I started earlier telling you about the uh, cleanses and stuff that people so people usually do the iridology, then they do the cleansing and then they change the diet. Because so then you have this, so you're like a physician, right? You're well, the herbalist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have different local herbs that we do in either teas or tincture forms. So that people, because um, from simple things like Sarasi bush, which you know most of you know about, that from Arvidas, to sour salt, to, and then you can integrate some of them into your foods. It's not just medicine that way. So I like that, that you can um, use them in both the foods that we Now that Canada has legalized marijuana, and medical marijuana, how do you, is there any health benefits to adding that to your food? Yeah, well the health benefits are in the plant itself. So it's just finding ways to use it as a carrier in something that you're doing. So say if you want to put some of the leaves in cells, or we make chocolates at home. If you had a child with seizures and you wanted to give it to that child, you wanted to inform that it would be easy for the child to um, take, then you would put it in a chocolate or something like that. So yeah. That smells and looks delicious. Alright, so we're gonna um, start plating soon. I think they're ready for me. Oh, yeah, I'll be here. Wow. Ooh. Plating samples. Alright, so this is done. So I think we're gonna start the sampling. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we'll get. Uh, it's gonna be a mad rush. Explain the order. Don't make us rush. We should come up here. Yeah. Can we ha uh, can we get the cash up here? The tickets up here, so it's easier, so they can get their tickets and then go. Oh, okay. We're gonna sell the tickets here. Yeah. And then you're going to exchange your ticket because oh. the right here, and then come back. Then go there. Okay, okay, so that's the okay. There you go. Are you coming? Yeah, I'll come up. We already have it, so just jump. You had it waving. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
fish fry. And then they also have Asian cuisine up there. Right. Oh, sorry, let me go to grab that photo. Can you look this way now? Sorry. Thanks. The Barbados flag. You could be in the picture. <laughs> Brilliant. Sorry, I'm with him. Oh, you got them both. Okay, good. Thanks. You got your food, sir? Alright, good, good, good. So, I told you this, what did you do today? So? Oh, that's not who I thought it was. There's a um, oh, pepper sauce. Oh, and the, and the pudding. That's what they probably they probably serve this and they serve that after. We hope. That's a big thing in JA. There's all these raw food restaurants all over Jamaica. Yeah, because she was telling me that when she when she went there to get some training. But she said actually Jamaica's way ahead. Bring it over here. See this pepper slash yeah, around with it there? Eh? Try to bring it come. Wave your hand up so you can get some. You're not mommy who's trying everything, is it? Are you? Are you mommy who has to try everything? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so wonderful. We're good friends of hers. You get one for me? The guy who's the big announcer, he's the one who's usually on stage. Yeah, he's the one who's always the um, one who announces things. I know he just came in with a certain presence, right? I remember he was at um, uh, Caribbean Tales, he introduced the Barbados Night. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Content is what I wanted to try. Find them. Mm -hmm. Is it ripe, right? I may never cook again. I might know. <laughs> Turn off the stove forever. And then my favorite is this. Um, you know what I love when I went to this um, vegan restaurant? Mm -hmm. Was I had. Um, oh my god, what's that thing called? Uh, the Mexican thing. Oh, that they do with fish. And they do it with um, ceviche? ceviche and I had a watermelon ceviche it was so good I couldn't stop eating it but no fish no fish Ooh. or no shrimp or nothing Ooh. just watermelon but they deflated it so you yes. feel your, your, your mouth Having feels ceviche. like you're eating ceviche oh my so god. I imagine this is what this is like for self oh my god yeah mm -hmm. yes I mean, it's not quite... See, I would do it. I would do it. It's just... I guess, you know, I, you know, I, I know a couple of people that are considered, you know, they do vegan diet and stuff. And I guess my jealousy is they got to the point where it's... It's just second nature for them. And I, mm -hmm. I, it, it's like, I want to get there. 
but I know it's not possible, you know? So, I don't know, maybe I, I, I'm doing some of it now, which is that I like to call myself um, Meatless Wednesday. So, like, midweek, I don't eat any kind of whatever. You know, do pasta with some sauce or whatever. And then, well, I'm not a big red meat eater anyways. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm eating less red meat. That's what yeah. I would say. I'm eating less red meat. So, even when I feel the, even when I put on this time, it's, it's just be kind of tight on me. And I realized, oh, yeah, but. Oh, here she comes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll grab, grab a couple. Thank you. Oh, make get you tasting. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, here's your taste. Because I'm a plantain. The plantain is my, uh, you know, I'm a plantain man. Oh my God. Yeah. But interestingly enough, planting like this, I've started baking them. Uh huh. Wrap it up in foil, cut off the ends, wrap it up in foil. Yeah. Bake it for an hour in the yeah. toaster oven. You know who taught me that? Who? Our house uh, music lady, Lena. You remember Lena? You saw her with Jan in um, in Kensington Market the other day when you were going to. Oh yeah, Lena. I know Lena. Thick, young. Lena yeah, 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 yeah. She's Bajan, Yeah. yeah. Oh, She's Lena's vision. Wow. And the thing with um um I was gonna say something to you. No, because Sean was yesterday. He was saying he was gonna eat um vegan aki. So I'm trying, but so this is me. But isn't aki already vegan? Because aki is a fruit. And he says no, but without the salt fish. Okay, yeah. So because you're vegetarian, you do. No, no, but vegetarian or vegan. Um, it depends on what kind you are, but vegan. Do you use salt? So then he said you use mushrooms, you use other things in it, and then you just add salt and pepper, and it literally tastes just like you're eating... I can salt. Yeah. It's all about spicing. It's also always about flavoring, spicing. Right? These women are her sisters. And that's her mother. Oh. Hi. I've got, mm -hmm. got three more of the, of the mango pudding. Oh, I didn't get any mango pudding. Thank you very much. Wonderful. All right, I've got one more mango pudding. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Thank so proud coming. of you. I've never seen you working, and I'm just like sitting here awestruck. By you, <laughs> you're phenomenal, phenomenal. No, phenomenal, yeah, really. That's something on your list to come. A food channel. Yeah, I've got your. Uh... <laughs> you got the Instagram thing? I got your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. My sister is on my kids big time. Right? Is that your sister's up there? My, my that, we met your mother. We just met your mother. My mom. Yeah. But my sister, I don't know. She might have gone outside with Eli, but she's on my kids for a book. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, you were so, yeah, and you're so easy and calm, you know your stuff, you're just in your element. I thought, I feel like I'm watching a, 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 a food channel, a TV show. Like, you're, you're, you're a master of your craft. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. I, I'll, I will get a picture with you later. Alright. <laughs> It's a funny thing where it's not like I'm surprised because of course she's great because I knew what she did this right but like just to watch it's so when you finally see somebody right it's like when I watch you doing travel stuff and you're just like dum 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 I'm like holy shit <laughs> you know like everybody does like we all have our thing now when you're doing it you go oh wow yeah we all kind of like that right in front of that classroom I'm like oh my god I'm biting my tongue <laughs> Not today. <laughs> That's what I would have said. This is so great. Shadow Benny.
Chantel used to live here many years ago. 